You know I love that gay shit. different today. Hi, if you're new here, my name is LKP. I am a writer, Rizzler, and lover of all things love. I make videos about whatever the fuck I want every week. And today, we are watching Red, White, and Royal Blue. So basically to summarize, he is the president's son, and this is like our Prince Harry, pretty much. And they start off as enemies to lovers, and then they fall madly in love. So without further ado, let's get started. So excited. <laughs> so excited. Prince Philip. Duke of Cambridge married his childhood sweetheart, Lady Martha Fitzroy. Okay, first of all, can we get into this right now? He is like so picturesque, it's crazy. He looks like a Ken doll and we love that, we love that. Younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's hearts. Oh my gosh, wait, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta throw on subtitles. I cannot understand what anyone is saying. Wedding reception boasts a who's who of international guests, including Alex Claremont Diaz. Referred to as the American Prince Henry. How about we skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? No. Okay, I can't. <laughs> what is this hair? Like, it's giving Tyler Perry. It's giving the lace fun cornrows. Like, what is this? And if a black woman did this, she hated this bitch. She hated her. Like, what is that? Look at her sideburns. They put like a 4C on the sideburns and then like a 3C on the curls. I am sick. So when the revolution happens, it will be because of this wedding. Oh, shut up, Henry, and get into the spirit of the thing. Oh, Henry. Oh, hello. Oh, you know what is obscene? Mm. Is how attractive the president's son is. Have you ever met him? He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear that he is not 6'2". How's it going? <laughs> me. <laughs> Literally me. Wait, look at him in the... Did you Wait. Look at my... <laughs> it's so embarrassing. You know how like when something embarrassing happens to you and you're like, no one saw that. He saw that. Henry! <laughs> On the last What's up? Sorry, Give me something, your majesty. Uh, did your parents send you to snobbery school or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? Well, in your case, I would say it's rather inevitable. We are the same height. You know what? Why is everyone so nosy? You're waiting for him to come back with the rag. You've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this takes the cake. Not the chick from The Secret of Sex, The Sex Life. Not she in this uh, Hallmark ass movie. Like I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I loved every second of it, okay? For this weekend, I had a higher approval rating than the Prime Minister. And overnight, you've managed to undo all that. Like, she has such a thick Southern accent. It, it, like, it's kind of weird. Cause like, they don't look anything alike. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, baby. That's why I need you to fix it. White House and the palace are gonna release a joint statement explaining that what happened at the wedding was a complete misunderstanding. Yo, Sarah. This is a fact sheet on Prince Henry. Memorize it. Yeah, yeah. You've been mates since you met at the Melbourne Climate Conference several years back. Is that correct? Yes, yes. I'm... Yep. You don't know this, but Henry does the best freestyle raps. Well, his mom is the president of the United States. And my mom is the Duchess of Edinburgh. You visit this place a lot? Every couple months. Never with photographers, though. Why do you dislike me? Climate conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. Look at his freaking eyelashes. You know what I can't stand more than anything? A man that has long eyelashes. He didn't know what to do with those. He doesn't deserve them. I'm sorry I was a prick to you. I, well, we survived it. That means we never have to see each other again. Wrong. You're expected at my New Year's party. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I need to get out of here. See you in a few months, Your Majesty. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mio. Okay. I watched that's your committee hearing on the flight home. That looks yeah, like his. You dad. and three other people. Oh, this God. makes sense. The oh, mom. Come on, Dad. He's elite and privileged and lives in a palace. Mm. What is this dialogue? Meanwhile, <laughs> you're now elite and privileged and live in a palace. Put and your mom. Place. Alex. Deberíamos de vernos pronto. 
Not the Off the record, of course. That's where I started on a good one. Yeah, you're always running at full speed. It's like this. It's an encantador. Eso y las pestañas. If he was actually interested, he would give a little bit of that flirt back. That is your cue right there. He's doing great riz. He's giving the compliments, the eye contact, he's doing all of that. But you see how he was throwing out the softballs and my mans, my mans was not giving anything back. That lets you know he is not interested. Oh, maybe he's just shy. He's the president's son. We have seen him literally give speeches. He's not shy. He's just not interested. Sometimes guys are shy, but like in this circumstance, he is obviously into him, but not the other way around. <laughs> I'm in bed with my dog watching Bake Off. It never occurred to me that the royal family watches television. Well, we all share the same password. Whoever directed this scene is incredible. Like, it's like being in a long distance relationship and they do like a side by side, but they're in the same room. We know that they're not in the same room. I, I love how they did this. And also, their voices are so like silky and smooth. They fit everything. They're tall, they're hot, and they have great voices. Oh, look who it is. Nice. Hot. What is with this hair? Why have they done the black people in this thing so dirty? Like if it was blonde, I could rock with that. If it was a light brown, I could rock with that. A uh, pink? A uh, pink? No, and her hair already pisses me off, and now that's two for two. I'm sick. Miss Holleran, you are the most exquisite woman I've ever seen. Do y'all see this man's hairline? It's giving microphone. Like, what? what is happening here? Why is this, like, bald and then hair? Fire his barber. Fire the barber. Oh! Did he say till the sweat drops down my throat? It's reminding me of when, like in High School Musical, but like when Troy Bolton is like on the court and Vanessa Hudgens is like in the in the audience and it's just them two and they're just like both standing and it was just so cinematic and amazing. This is what it reminds me of. Did I do something wrong? People I date don't interest me and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my God, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. I'm sorry. Classic trope. Making out and just be like, JK. This is the year the Democrats finally flipped Texas? Yeah, we're uh, gonna flip Texas. Good to see you, Miguel. I just need to talk to Henry. Private. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. Fellas, time's up. We gotta get back to... Oh, God. Your royal hardness? <laughs> or Big Ben? I thought you hated me. I hate that how good you looked. Last name. Actually, I have several. My full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. And I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. Henry Fox has to belong to himself. Can he ever belong to someone else? Only momentarily. I think we should make love tonight. Oh, I'm, I mean, yeah. Who doesn't make love anymore? So sweet. Did you tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan to flip Texas? 16 tweets today, all linking to his new article. He really tweets too much. It's hard to put into words how exciting it is to be back here working to get my mom reelected. The only thing that would make it even better is if you were here. I've met someone. She's not a Republican, is she? She's also a he, and he happens to be... Henry. So are you, are you gay, bi, fluid, pan, quick? Go put mom and bi. Oh, all right. Hey, <laughs> watch out, here comes British invasion. <laughs> Who's ready to party? Oh. Yes. Maybe next summer we could come back here? We could walk through Austin holding hands and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. I feel so right. 
And versus him just being like, I'm scared, I want you, but I know I can't have you, he's just gonna like distance again. Probably. What I mean this. Henry! Time and again, I would try. Can we please talk? You won't talk to me because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. I can't afford to be reckless. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. There's something I want you to see. When I was a boy, Not the statues. my father used to bring me this here. This is so Elio and Oliver Coder. Oh, please be patient with me. And I promise I will try and be brave for us. You need to have some part of me until you can have all of me again. Now we're even. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. They were posted overnight to Reddit. How many of our emails? All of them. God, I miss him. Oh my God. I don't care what any of those wrinkled white men at Buckingham Palace have to say about it. I want you to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone. Hello? Baby. I'm coming to London tonight. Hurry. Please. I'll break the sound barrier for you. I'm losing my mind here. Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham. And that means NBC News can now project that President Ellen Clermont has been re-elected as President of the United States. We won. After you. I have loved every second of this. Okay, final thoughts. I thought it was really, really cute. I think I would give it like a 7.5 out of 10. I love the scenes. I thought it was great casting. Some of the dialogue was kind of like, you know, like Disney-esque, a little Hallmarky, but like that's what makes a really great rom-com. And because I finally watched this movie, that inspired me to write this week's poem. You undo every resistance I have into loving you. Push me off the cliff it takes to get closer to linger in my hallway, replay what we did. If this hurts, let's do it. Just don't say when. And that's gonna wrap up the video. If you liked what you've heard and liked what you've seen, follow me on everything at LKP. I'd love to know what you think. Until then, safe travels. When I'm with you, it's like chaos. <laughs> Talking's just one thing you do with your mind.